good morning. We left the uh, Snake River uh, about an hour ago, hour and a half ago, and uh, we're now entering the uh, Oahe Canyonlands. And uh, this is uh, the most remote uh, part of Oregon. And uh, it uh, feels it. Uh, we're still on the uh, main road here, 95 South. We just turned off of uh, the main road, uh, Highway 95. And uh, it's vast. It's uh, really vast. The, the sign back there said next 122 miles is open range. That's a substantial area, the most I've seen in all my travels. Uh, Brady's not uh, appreciating uh, the cows to the left here. And he's letting them know there's a new sheriff in town. Not very interesting back here, except uh, to let you know we got two hours and 22 minutes. Uh, no, uh, two hours and 12 minutes of of this uh, before we get to our destination hoping that uh, all will go well as we uh, proceed deep into the uh, Oahe uh, Canyon want to share some thoughts with you as we uh, just head down this never-ending dirt road uh, there's some couple there's a couple denominators that uh, always seem to happen when when the adventure starts uh, when I know that it's an adventure there's always a dirt road there's never any cell signal but I suppose the most interesting one is the way I feel I always get butterflies uh, in my stomach in my gut uh, just uh, it just happens it just it just happens naturally and uh, Brady is uh, just stands up in the back seat <clears throat> he wants to look out the uh, the front windshield as to where we're going and uh, he just I guess senses he just senses that uh, you know that this is different and uh, he wants to see he wants to be involved he's just uh, you know this is what he does just a few more thoughts I wanted to uh, share with you kind of what my uh, mental process is uh, you know for planning uh, when I venture alone uh, into these remote places where I know that you know it's uncertain uh, things are uncertain I've never traveled the road I don't really know what to expect to to you know to a certain degree I do but you know two hours on a you know who knows what's ahead but I always plan for the worst and hope for the best you know do I have enough fuel uh, to go and come back and get lost and so on and find my way if I have to can I walk out can I walk out of here do I have enough food you know I'm planning on being here between you know maybe around seven to ten days do I have enough food for, you know, two weeks, you know, a month? The weather. Uh, I check the weather very, very frequently and assess it to the uh, deeper than most people. Uh, that's just because of my training, you know, being a meteorologist, I also, you know, know how to read the maps. Uh, that most people don't don't really read uh, uh, you know is it gonna rain 
Am I going to get stuck here? Uh, is there going to be snow? And so on. Um, those are just some of the things that go through my mind. Uh, but mainly the, the philosophy is the mental, you know, it, it allows me to cope uh, when I feel prepared. And uh, feeling prepared to me is you know, planning for the worst and uh, hoping for the best. Excuse me, sir. Uh, we'd like to pass, please. Excuse me. Can you let us by, please? There you go. I know, baby. 16 more miles, one hour and 12 minutes to go. The uh, one thing that's starting to worry me a little bit uh, is it's getting more and more wet and uh, these puddles and muddy areas are becoming more frequent. Um, I'm hoping that, uh, I need to speed up right here. I'm hoping that uh, we can make it. Uh, it's uh, definitely getting more uh, interesting. These ruts are about uh, one foot deep. Yeah, it's the low-lying areas that are most concerning, it looks like. Uh, for sure. So, fingers crossed. We still got 10 miles. I almost just got stuck. Uh, we're talking about mud on the windshield and uh i had to floor it in the uh, four-wheel drive uh, started fishtailing quite a bit panda all over the place in the back and i'm not liking what i'm seeing up here at all um this is uh this is looking really bad right here uh this next uh maybe 100 feet or so 200 feet not really sure what's going on over here um, I think I'm gonna have to walk it. This was uh, this was painful back there. Uh, Pando is not looking pretty, and the truck is not looking pretty either. This is uh, really muddy here. I'm very concerned about this next section right here. Can't really turn around either. I'm pretty much at the limit of what this equipment can uh, can do. Um, I've gotten uh, just barely through uh, these massive, th this is nothing here, although it's deep. I've had to go around several times for hundreds of yards because of, uh, uh, excuse me, hundreds of feet because of mud and it's been, I've gotten lucky several times already uh, that I didn't get stuck. I'm really concerned. We still got five miles. That's our destination. You see the, uh, that valley over there? That's the Wahi River Valley, uh, Owyhee uh, River Valley. And uh, I'm just very concerned with, uh, with my ability to to make it uh, it'll be days uh, before somebody comes out here uh, so this is uh, this is not looking good at all uh, I'm really not sure here what to what to do 
we're so close but you know five miles can seem like a few seconds or one mile can seem like an eternity and uh, that's where we're at right now uh, the last hour I've gone maybe two miles uh, because I have to get out and scout a, a roundabout way to get through this muddy area um, you know I'm towing and it's just uh, the the KO2s they're nubby but look at them they uh, there's not much traction left on them uh, the mud is just caked on at this point especially in the back and the pando man the pando just looks like crap not sure here I need to think about this it's uh, two hours back to the main road the decision has been made we're turning back um, and uh, it's uncertain whether we're gonna make it back or not uh, not sure I'll get lucky twice but the road is over there and we're having to go through the country here uh, just to make it through so this is uh this is nuts is what this is and uh, I just need to get get out of here before the unthinkable happens and I get stuck for days here without any service so we have to do what you just saw right there a few more times in order to make it to where the road is uh, decent enough to uh, say with some certainty that we'll get out of this mess that we're in a little bit well, I think we uh, got out of that one, uh, barely. Uh, I have absolutely no regrets on turning around when I did. Who knows what kind of wetness there, uh, there was as we started making our descent into the Oahe River. Uh, that steep grade narrow path with the wetness um, it was just uh, every every inch of my body was telling me not to keep going and uh, two and a half hours of this road in order to turn around just four miles from our destination was was a painful choice but nonetheless the absolute correct choice Moving on, we're going to go to uh, Secor Campground. Uh, it's another BLM spot. Uh, of course, it's two and a half hours away. Uh, I, about two hours of it is uh, like this uh, on the uh, dirt road. And uh, But it's got great reviews. It was the backup plan and uh, we're gonna go for it. Uh, hopefully we can access that because uh, that's dirt road too. So we'll see and uh, at some point I need to find a car wash. Those were some of the most hellacious miles and by the way there were only about five miles. Uh, it's, it seemed like an eternity but those were some of the most hellacious miles I've done uh, where I really thought this is it you're gonna get stuck and and you got you know you have to start planning on that I think is the uh, camping area so uh, this is just a beautiful area I hope there is room for us it looks uh, kind of crowded
this is more like it. Welcome to Sucker Creek. That was a brutal day yesterday. You wonder if it was meant to be? And uh, when I was on the arrival uh, into uh, Sucker Creek, I knew right away that uh, this place was, uh, was meant to be seen by me. What a magnificent place. Uh, the energy here is fantastic. Uh, hopefully we can get into the uh, Alver Desert. There's been reports that the road, the only road that uh, goes up to Steens Mountain, which is right after the Alver Desert, uh, is still closed uh, because of snow.